Well, I'm glad to be back here with you. I have been away for more than three weeks. It was a trip that took me first to Syria, then to Finland, then to China, from China to Bahrain, from Bahrain to Geneva, from Geneva to Tehran, and then back here. Uh, while in Tehran, I had to, I was invited along with the Emir of Qatar, the President of Syria, the President of Iraq. I was invited to attend the Economic uh, Cooperation Organization Stenth Summit was the 10th summit of the ECHO, which are countries from the area, from Turkey uh, to Pakistan and, and around Iran. Uh, basically, the purpose of my trip was to talk about the upcoming meeting at the highest level uh, concerning the financial and economic crisis and also its impact on development and to to give them in because I was mandated to organize that and I find uh, necessary to to be updating heads of states either in person or uh, through mail as to what we're doing and how things are coming along, but also to remind them of the great importance of their participation in the meetings in, in early June, from the 1st to the 4th of June inclusive. And as I said, I had an opportunity of uh, transmitting this personally to some 20 heads of states uh, in the trip. It, it was uh, we also, of course, as president of the General Assembly, uh, they wanted to know what we were doing with regard to other important issues on the agenda. So, all in all, it was a, a very positive meeting. One of the things uh, that really struck me, uh, because it's so much contrary uh, to the image that we receive here in the United States. I don't think anyone can doubt that in our part of the world, concretely here, the image of Ahmadinejad, Ahmadinejad has been demonized. The United States has been in the business of the demonization of people from ever, and the canonization of the worst of dictators such as Marcos, for example, Somoza in Nicaragua, Pinochet. We can never forget how Elliot Abrams was sent once to Chile to thank Pinochet for his great contribution to democracy. And then we hear terrible things about Ahmadinejad, and I was wondering, why do they say those things here? And I remember when Ahmadinejad came last, and there was going to be a meeting uh, that I was invited to uh, with other people. I didn't know how many other people, but it was a dinner. And there was a big ado here, letters to the Secretary General. Nothing to do, but anyway, he received a to, to prevent me from going. I went, you know, at, at least a third of 
of the people who participated in that meeting were religious Christian denominations, nuns and priests and bishops and a great many rabbis. It was a very good meeting, a very frank meeting. Uh, uh, but uh, here, it was unbelievable. You think we were in the lower middle ages. <laughs> and so, in what, what I was struck by uh, in this meeting of ECHO, in the 10th summit of the Economic Cooperation Organization, was the great respect that they are all the neighbors of Iran have for, for Iran, the, the recognition that everyone gives to Iran for helping, for being such a positive help to alleviate the plight of the Afghan refugees, of whom at this time there may be more than, maybe some three and a half million people. Uh, the legal uh, refugees <laughs> and the illegal, but they all get, uh, according to Islamic ideas of how you treat a foreigner, they, they get opportunity for work, etc. And uh, so that was a very wonderful experience to see that, and in contrast to the attitude that we find, sadly, in, uh, here uh, where we are. Uh, I was also I, I heard while over there that uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and and some other I don't remember said at two different times that they were going to be hosting or promoting a meeting to talk about the issue of Iran and uh, to see how that uh, profound problem could be solved, not Iran, but uh, Afghanistan, and how that could be solved. A and that uh, Secretary of State Clinton said that they are thinking about inviting Iran uh, to, and so on, that sounded to me reasonable and very good, especially after the experience. The one intervention in the context of that ECHO summit was that really made my heart bleed. I felt really, really uh, compassionate with its Afghanistan president, uh, the president of Afghanistan. Uh, spoke for some 25 minutes, half an hour, about the plight and, and asked for everyone in the region to, to assist in bringing <coughs> peace to that country that has only known violence and conflict for, for altogether too long a time. Uh, so that is that particular thing, but the main thing the main purpose of the of the trip was to update, as I already said, uh, the governments that I visited with regard to what we were doing vis-a-vis -vis the meeting at the highest level that is programmed for early June of this year. Having said that, I'm all yours. If you have questions, please.